Hi and welcome to Add More Zest with Diamonds. My name's Rebecca and I've got a goodie to share with you today from Dime Art Painting. Um, they were kind enough to send me a big diamond painting to share with you all. And this is just stunning. Absolutely stunning. So let me get this one. I mean, you can see the colour tones already. It's sort of, it is a darker colour tone looking painting, but it's so striking, so striking. Are you ready? I'm trying to see if I can sort of, here we go, see if I can, oh, we've got an inventory sheet and everything. I've probably got a toolkit mixed up in here as well. But look at that. I think the symbols used aren't necessarily doing it full justice. Um, it is looking quite a bit lighter here, but I think once the diamonds are actually down, that'll, that you're going to see the full amazingness of it. Um, so it's 26 colours. It does come with DMC numbers. It's down as a 45 by 60. So let's have a look. It is a round and it is true size so the diamond painting area is 60 by 45 so it is even though it's poured glue it is a true size canvas it comes with what I call a slightly nicer toolkit in the fact that it comes with a little bit bigger white tray with a spout it comes with wax, it comes with two multi-placers, looks to be a three and then a six or a seven, and it comes with a clear diamond painting pen with the single placer tip. And then, oh, it comes with baggies. I like when it comes with baggies. It also comes with an inventory sheet. So let me just try and get in this without having, without making a mess. It does come with circles around the symbols. And they do have a mixture of white circles around them and or black circles around them, depending on the colour. So can you see where it has K and C that are white symbols? They have slightly lighter white circles around them. But then where we have, say, the number one, or the number eight symbol. It, in black, it does have a black circle around it, but they can sometimes be a bit easier. It does have, say, an inventory sheet. It uses letters and numbers, tells you the DMC numbers, tells you the quantity. Um, then it does tell you the amount of bags. However, this has been done by weight, but look at that image. That is one beautiful looking beast. What that is. Um, but look, we've got, you know, it's done by weight. So you have got the DMC number and the weight. These are actually really nice baggies. These are not thin bags. These are, these are nice and thick baggies. A lot thicker than I've had before. So these are really nice. Look at that gorgeous colour. Let's have a look at some of these other colours that we've got in here. Just such a rich colour painting. Uh, we have got some 939, we have got some pops of lighter colours, but all these blues and purples, it's just so rich. And then we have got a pop of 996. But yeah, this, the quality of these bags are really nice. And the diamonds look to be really nice quality as well. In fact, there's just a couple there that decided they didn't want to go inside the bag. So there we go. Make them go inside rather than sitting outside. But when you have a look, so let's see if we can see. Yeah, even when we move the 939 around in the bags, we've not got... We've not got bits of rubbish in there. Doesn't look like we're gonna have a static issue either. The diamonds look really, really nice. 
and if the quality of the bags are anything to go by then I'm sure the diamonds will be absolutely beautiful. Not much 310. Um, if you're not keen, if you're not keen on the 310, I don't mind it. I think it just depends on how much it is. Um, I like I like it when a painting varies uh, between the dark colours and then you get to do a pop of colour. But of course, that always depends on what the picture itself is. This one is more of a, a darker picture overall. Um, but I chose it because it was so striking and I just think, yeah, I just think that is going to be absolutely gorgeous when it's done. I like the fact that it's true to size. I mean, that's the smaller image of it, but it might be printed. It's printed in a little bit better quality than the paper one. But to be honest, the paper one's pretty good. Um, but click on the link in the description below if you want to see him in his full glory. Uh, what he would, you know, what his picture is more likely to look finished. But there's not too much blockiness. There's a little bit of it, but not too much. Um, and I think it would give a nice variety. And I think he'd just look stunning when he's done. What a handsome chappy. Anyway, <laughs> thank you so much to Dime Art Painting for sending me this um, to share with everybody. As I say, I will pop the link down below and do click on that so you can see how striking an image he is. But a little bit different for this one. It does come with an inventory sheet, toolkits and nice quality bags. I'm impressed with the quality of bags. Um, until it's actually done, I won't know how much, you know, the, the potential training wheels stick outside of the diamonds, but they don't look that dark. They don't look too in your face. And we've not got a lot of white that it could potentially cause a problem. So I'd be happy to do the painting and see how that goes. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. And I'll speak to you all again soon.